Hey, I'm Maria back with another video. It's like 6 13 a.m. Tuesday morning, July, I believe, it's July 11th, or it's, maybe it's the 10th. Anyway, I'm not even paying attention. Um, so, yeah, I, I woke up this morning in a really bad mood, just angry. Um, there's a lot of things I have been thinking about in the last few days. And, you know, there's times where I could try to... Um, kind of mask it, you know, try to divert my attention to other things, but then, you know, I wake up in the morning and it's back, it's there, you know, the anger and the frustration is there, mainly because, you know, I, I the more I think about how people are, the more angry, the more angry I become, you know, um, that somebody could basically hold somebody against their will and manipulate their life in a way where it destroys everything that they ever cared about in their life. And that's basically what these people did. You know, um, I would have been better off had I not had any association with these people. Um, I'm referring to, of course, my blood relations and working for the employer who thought that it was okay to trail behind me after I left her place of employment. That would have been so much better for me um, <laughs> because I know that I could have been far more ahead in my life had this not happened. What I, what I resent mostly is, about them is that there's just like this constant tangled web of um, uh, the inability to understand People, you know, like these people can't understand why I can't find them or why I don't accept their harassment as normal, and that's what gets them upset. Because what they do is they like to arrange their little, their little, your life, right? And then they start harassment. They create a hostile environment in the place that you're at, and then any person with half a brain would not want to stay there because you know it's not going to work once you realize that you're in a hostile situation. So you try to get out of it and then they get angry because you didn't stay there for a long enough duration and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. And how are you supposed to know that your life is being manipulated until you know you start looking back and then you come back and you realize it? But this is what causes the problem. Somebody gives you something and then they get angry because they give you a job and then they get angry because you don't do it exactly the way that they, they want you to. And there was no formal agreement with that person for them to, for them to arrange your life in the first place. So you get these narcissistic people um, that literally come into your life and just wreck it. And I mean, I was thinking about the years that these people have taken off my life. The time that these people played their fucked up game and left me in the state that I'm in. And I'm angry. I'm very angry about it, you know? It's like you could only suppress so much. And I'm just beyond frustrated at the situation that I'm at, you know? I come home, you know, in the day and then I just sit there and think, my God, where is my life going? Where is my life going? I have no idea. You know, and I feel very unhappy about the situation these people put. And so I can understand why, you know, this, and obviously from a legal standpoint, it is lawsuit worthy. How could you take someone's life and just destroy it, manipulate it, cause all kinds of harassment, devastation in so many areas of a person's life, and think that a lawsuit is not, you, you shouldn't expect a lawsuit. This is exactly what lawsuits are made of. I get angry a lot about this, and I am angry, very angry about it. I remember having a phone interview with the company. It's, I think it was called Love's Truck Stop. I don't know if it's in Tehachapi or the outskirts of Baker. I don't remember. Anyway... Um, he was a part of the, um, harassment and he called me, his name is Charles and he called me up and he was basically saying that, you know, I didn't stay at my jobs long enough. And I kept thinking, okay, you're the one, <laughs> um, I, I couldn't believe what he was saying because number one, why would you, if you knew my situation and knew that I, um, what I had to go through and the harassment that I had to put up with and then the, um, and, and it's like, you don't understand a person's situation. He, this person was harassing me basically is what he was doing. And I didn't appreciate it. 
And then you get people like Karen Johnson who involves other companies to harass you, okay? And basically, like, for example, some of the agencies and all these other companies that she worked through, they're deserving of a lawsuit too. It's like, how is it that one person could come up with a stupid idea that could destroy the reputation of several companies. And they're and you know, they can't point the finger at Karen Johnson, even though Karen Johnson is to blame. They can't say, well, you know, you made us do it, or you, we, we didn't know. There is no excuse not to know. There is no excuse for this at all, none. You know, I will not accept any excuse, especially from people who consider themselves to be like the upper, you know, echelons of society, and they, they these snobby people who, you know, have like these have gone to these prestigious universities and and claim to know so much i refuse to accept any excuse like well we didn't know we can't take responsibility for it that's bullshit you know what i mean it's bullshit you know i i'm very angry you know and there's days where i feel okay and there's days where it just reaches boiling point you know because i don't know what to make or how to make sense of it all anymore i don't Anyway, so I got to be leaving in, brief, in a few minutes. <clears throat> I'm trying to get myself together. Yesterday, I wanted to stay a little longer at work. I stayed a little bit longer, but not as long as I wanted to. <clears throat> I'm trying to work on this thing. And um, all of a sudden, you know, I was sitting there at work and I just got really like hot. And I kept thinking, am I going to throw up? Am I going to throw up? <laughs> So then, I mean, my, my, my skin was just like really warm and then I turned on the other air conditioner, which was already cool inside there, but I was, I don't know, it was like this weird fever that came on for no reason. Then I turned on the cooler and it cooled me down and I could see like the little goosebumps like puckering up on my skin, right? And I kept thinking, okay, um, maybe I should go home and get in my car and drive off and go home. But I felt so weak that I kept thinking, I don't even know if I could like feel safe enough to drive. That's how and it took me a while to go to my composure to where I could go. But I will tell you, I I don't know if it was food poisoning. Was it food poisoning? I don't know what it was, but it was kind of a fluky thing. And I when I get like that, I mean I can understand I feel like that in the cold winter months, like, you know, August, I mean autumn, maybe winter, but definitely winter, but you know, when you're, you're doing this in the summertime, it's like, what the heck's going on? You know, who knows? But I seem to feel okay today, and I'm just going to keep plugging along. Um, I had to release my anger because, you know, it, it, it's a it's a very, it's a trauma-based um, anger. And it goes in cycles. And I'm trying to get my life back. You know, I just want my, my life back in the direction of what I could understand and relate to. And I, it's not. And that's why I'm so angry, you know. Um, especially when I think about these people who had no rights to do what they did. It angers me to no end. And I know I'm not to blame for any of this. I'm not to blame for any of it. Um, Karen, uh, these people have a very strange view of, you know, what is right and what is wrong. And this is going on with a lot of people. A lot of companies do this. A lot of employers think that they can, you know, could literally try to control a person. And um, they can, you know, especially, especially when you're not working for them anymore. And so this is one of these things people need to be aware of. And I've talked about this before, but it's like it, that kind of control and that kind of life and, and living under that sort of program, the system, is very devastating you know and i'm like i said i just want people to understand and know you know that they have limits and they have and people should set boundaries you know and it should already be set and there's no excuse there is no no excuse i don't care what the excuse is even if you didn't go to a a, a, a video if you don't have a master's degree or whatever even if you don't have one of those if you're in that position you should have had some formal training and you do okay you should have had that. And if you don't, you don't belong in that position. You don't. You know, there is no excuse for it, period. And I will never, ever accept any excuse, period. I won't. You know, I, I, I cannot accept that. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. <laughs> and I think I've been talking long enough. But just long enough to release my feelings. My frustration is very deep, okay? My, it's very deep. And it's very upsetting to me. 
you know, I mean, I can't tell you how upsetting it is. You know, I try to calm myself down. And who's to say that my sickness yesterday wasn't a result of me feeling this pent-up anger? Who's, who's to say? I don't know. You know what I mean? But um, never interfere with the lives of other people. It's not your right. It's not your place. It's not your, your right to do that, okay? Especially here in the United States of America. I hope you learn from this lesson. I hope it gets, it gets people talking. I hope people start talking about illegal investigations, narcissistic employers, and start respecting the rights of other people. Anyway, have a wonderful day.